Excellent. Let's get moving on this uh, YouTube show around Microsoft 365 uh, features or whatever we call this show. It doesn't, again, really matter. Um, this time we're going to talk about Viva Connection again. Viva Connection is really, really cool. It's awesome to see now the growth on those that usage. Uh, we can actually see that, you know, starting to skyrocket on the adaption, which is brilliant. Uh, and this has been so many new features within that uh, Viva Connection experiences within the past year. Now, with me, is Leslie, uh, and Leslie is going to talk about one specific feature today. But Leslie, before we go there, uh, what is what is your background? What what is your role within the Vivo Connection? Yeah, absolutely. Hello, everyone. My name is Leslie Thomas, and I am a product manager for Viva Connections, mostly focusing on the uh, front end facing side of Viva Connections, more notably at Viva Connection Experiences. So the components that you see on Viva Connections, I play a big role in making sure that those components are useful for you as you are yep. setting up your experience. Absolutely. You, you've really done an awesome job of introducing new capabilities. And this time we are, we're kind of doing a recap on something which we've released already, but now we're making it better. So can we do a quick intro uh, on what are we talking? Yeah, absolutely. So today we're going to talk about the resources experience. So in the past, uh, we have revamped the resource experience. As for those of you that probably use Viva Connections before, Resources used to be your global navigation from your SharePoint home site nested within your Viva Connection experience. And um, within the past year or so, we have revamped resources to be uniquely nested links. So that way you can add your own curated links for your resources section. That's a bit different from your global navigation. So yeah. we have expanded the capabilities of resources by giving you the ability to add custom links, um, add custom images, sorry, and being able to import your global navigation in, from your home site into the new resources experience. So today yeah. we're going to walk through that as well as give a highlight of the mobile experience as well. Yeah. It's good to know that there's a lot of improvements in the mobile and tablet around that one as well. And that really kind of a, just a recap on the resources. It's really those commonly used links and assets and tooling for the user so they can easily access that. And you're able to do audience targeting within the resources as well, right? Yes, that's correct. So you are able to audience target uh, certain resource links to be available for specific users. So yep. if, if let's say you have a resource that have 10 links and you have a user that only has three audience targeted to them, that user will only see three links in their resources. Yep. Makes perfect sense. Cool. Let's actually jump on the live demo. So we're going to kind of recap on what has changed and what does the importing from the home site actually means? Because I, I, I like that feature a lot as well, because it helps makes it easier to adapt the Viva connection. So let me jump to the screen sharing mode and we'll have a look on all of this in practice. All right. Awesome. So first I'm going to highlight the import SharePoint links. So this was a feature that was asked a lot by customers who have moved over from their um, home site over to Viva Connections. And one of the common pain points that we heard from customers is, hey, I've curated a global navigation, but when I move to resources, I have to start from scratch by adding new links. Is there a way that I can bring them over in one swoop without having to add them all manually? So we heard you and we add the capability to add um, the import SharePoint links here within resources. So when you select it, um, you do have two um, things that you can select here, which is global navigation and home site navigation. Home site navigation reflects the actual navigation on the top of the home site. So you'll see here when you start, uh, currently we don't have any navigation here, but you'll see four default nodes that you can select. When you are creating um, a SharePoint communication site, these are the four that you see by default. So these yep. sh will show up here. So I'm going to kind of give you an example of what that would look like if you were to import a link. You are able to import these even though they don't really take you anywhere. But I'm going to show what that looks like here. So let's say that you had two links that you wanted to import from your global navigation into your resources section. What you'll do here is you would select the nodes that you want to bring in. And you can also review what the uh, the links to see where they take you to before you do that. And then you'll see a button that says import here. Once you select import, you'll see that it has an importing load button. And from there, the links that you want to import will show up directly into your new resource experience. I do want to note that you can only 
import up to 48 links because 48 links is the max that we can offer in resources at the moment. So if you have more than that, then you have to kind of decide which ones that you want to import into your resources at the moment. So very seamless process. And the, the goal is to kind of reduce to the time of value for customers to get what they have from their home site onto the resources experience of Viva yep. Connections. Makes sense. And, and just to call that out, that those are kind of individual instances. So there's, there is no direct linking back from the home or documents. So if you would go now to the SharePoint home site and you would modify the home to, to update the link somewhere else, that link in here will not be reflected. So it's just a copy of the information within the resources section. Absolutely. Cool. And then, now we also have then the image support and we can do additional settings within these resources, right? That is correct. So when we first released this, uh, we had the ability to add a new link and you can select an icon um, to pair with the resource link that you generated. Now, we also got feedback from customers, especially customers that have more tailored curated experiences that they want to be able to add their own images to the resource links to kind of make it more personalized to, to their tenant. So we have added the capability to do that. So I'm gonna walk through that here. So when you add a link, first you have to add a, a URL here. So we'll just start simple and just use bing.com because who doesn't love Bing? Um, so we're going to put the display name as Bing. And in the past, the, the two options that you have here was auto-selected an icon. And now we have a custom icon that allows you to generate a custom image. Um, it'll start as the web link as a default as always. But now you have the ability to change it. So we'll click on change here. And if you have used custom images before, you'll recognize the, the image picker UI here. So for the sake of the demo, we'll just start with a stock image. So we will choose the skyscraper here. So we'll insert it. Once you do that, you can kind of see a preview of what that image will look like um, before you add it, if you are OK with it. Um, you can select add, or if you want to uh, target to a specific audience beforehand, you can do that here. So we'll add it. Yep. Once you add it, it shows up right here. And as you can see, it shows the custom image that you selected, and it will appear within a new resources section. So yep. small change that we, that we believe will have a significant impact, especially for tenants that really want to customize what they want their resource to look like that is uniquely tailored to their needs. Yeah, absolutely. I can imagine a lot of corporate comms uh, people be like, yes, we have a set of icons and theming and a imaginary imagine things which we want to actually use in here from a consistency perspective. A lot of flexibility on that. Um, and then just to kind of recap, all of this will be then also visible in the tablet and, Nova, uh, tablet and mobile view as well, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, before I get into mobile, there is one right. other thing I wanted to highlight as well that was added. So previously, when re resources first launched, uh, we had an auto saving mechanism. So which mean that the moment that you added a new link, it would automatically save and it will immediately be visible to all of your users within your tenants. Yep. We have given the capability to now give you kind of a preview editing capability where you can move around and edit your links before you save it entirely. So to kind of give you an example of what that looks like, I'll just save this here. I'll select edit. So now I'm in edit mode and in the past, let's say that I want to edit this link here. Once I edit it and select edit here, then it will automatically save and be visible for everyone. Yep. But let's say that I wanted to change this image instead of Bing, um, let's just add, um, we'll just say call it Bing 2 for the sake of the demo. When I select edit, now it doesn't automatically save and I can basically make any change that I want before saving entirely. If I wanted to import yep. links, if I wanted to delink, uh, delete links, if I wanted to move this around, I'm able to kind of see what that looks like before I select save. So as you can see, I moved this around. Um, Bing 2 was here, but it's no longer here. If I were to select cancel, it'll give me kind of like this little modal to see if I want to actually leave. If I leave, it goes back to your previous settings. So yep. you don't have to worry about auto saving or making any unauthorized changes that can show up to your users if you're not ready to make that change yet. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Really good. Really good. So it, there's no accidental adjustments. Uh, so you explicitly are saving the changes, which is really good. So. That is correct. And yes, um, this new UI will also be available in mobile as well. 
Um, in the past, there was a bit of a difference between the desktop experience and mobile, where resources yeah. had the enhanced UI that we have here, and resource was still using the previous structure of global navigation. So now we're going to bring parity to the two experiences, and this is what it will look like as a result of that. So as you can see, you can have both views when you move your phone to the side, as well as if you have it front facing, and it will show the new links that you have generated in your desktop experience. It will also appear here. So you won't see the previous yep. uh, global navigation tree structure that you saw in the past. You'll see the new links here and any custom images that you added from the desktop experience to your resource links will also appear here as well. Kind of creating a one to one effect from your desktop experience resource section and your mobile experience resource section. So the mobile experience is still being rolled out as we speak. We do expect this to be available to all the customers definitely before Q4N. So that way you can have parity between both the desktop experience and the mobile experience. Yeah, really, really good. And this, this makes it so easy to use your mobile phone or tablets, uh, but frontline workers to access the relevant links within the company through here. So you can just, and, and using the audience targeting, you can just, but put the relevant things from relevant roles directly within their teams uh, or mobile phones, which is really, really cool. Uh, great, great capability. Awesome stuff. So yeah, this is all that I wanted to highlight for the changes within the resource experience so far. Uh, basically continue to bridge the gap between the desktop experience and mobile experience. So that way customers can enjoy the changes that they make and it can be reflected in both experiences kind of our larger initiative to, to continue yeah. to kind of bring a one-to-one -one experience between both devices. And we know that customers will for sure love that. Yeah, I, I, I think we'll be getting there uh, pretty soon. Uh, no timelines on, on the full parity between, but, but there's always gonna be new features and capabilities coming on one side and then the other side is adapting that a bit later uh, for sure. But the awesome, awesome capabilities and awesome improvements. And of course, any, anybody who's watching this recording uh, or the video or the reading the blog post, please, please, please keep the feedback coming. We are building all of these capabilities for you. Uh, so we need to understand what's relevant for the customers and partners within the Vivo connection. But I, I guess that sums up uh, the, the video today. So thank you, uh, Leslie, for joining on the show. Uh, really awesome implementation. Good to see this uh, moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Always a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.